I quite like the stylization that this game's got. It's quite nice to see something a bit more, you know, customized. A lot of upgrades going on for this too. I'm not really sure what this is fully. I, uh, I, 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 I clicked the guy in the mid menu and he fell to his doom. So I, I don't know. I got an achievement for it. So I guess we're off to a great start. Seems to be like, uh, I mean, there's going to be parallels to Deep Rock Galactic with it, 100%. I think there's a lot of, um, I guess, I guess influence may be taken from Deep Rock Galactic, a lot of inspiration taken from it. Kind of like a Terraria for Minecraft type thing. But uh, it looks a bit interesting. It's like a bit of a colony management sort of resource gathering tower defense sort of hybrid. You're going down to planets and doing some operation and getting the materials out that we can spend on those upgrades and such. We have a nice mill here giving us the general rundown, select contracts, complete them, greater complexity as we go on, etc, etc, the standard fare. There is a demo available for this game, but I'm, from what I understand, the demo was a, uh, maybe at like an older build or something? Like there's no, there's no upgrades in the demo or anything like that. This is the full thing that I've got. I bought the early access for it, so... I don't know. I guess uh, if anybody's played the demo, I suppose let me know what's different. It it sounds a bit like it's just like a, a bit of an older demo. We just have the one difficulty, Novice Borer. It's locked. We only have also the one planet slash mission. Not too sure. I think just planet. Also blocked. It's sort of tutorial type thing, I think. Target depth. 3 by 50 meters, 1 charge required, cavernous planet type, those materials are there. Our unique civilization relies on the delicate balance of magnetic forces to sustain our protective bubble against the crushing depths. Recently, we've detected alarming shifts in these forces, threatening the integrity of our habitat. We implore you to intervene and correct the planet's magnetic field, securing the future of our people and the marine life we coexist with. We have qualifications. She's up to two qualifications. Completed qualifications grant you access to new technologies. Upgraded technologies will become available to you during the contract and can also be selected as certain technologies in platform presets. No consequences if I don't complete one. Right. There's a, a good amount of these too. Uh, these seem to be like the buildings slash towers that we build then. Improves the attack rate of all explosive type turrets. Reach a depth of 250 on a cavernous planet. Cavernous planet is what we start on. How convenient. Protector dock. Active daytime ability. Protect selected workers for four seconds. Each building of this type increases the duration by two. So they stack. 55 second cooldown though. Requires some cool blue flint and uh, one ruby thing. Maybe. Or dried cherry. Oh, these all have that. Okay, never mind. Just general building materials, I guess. This is an active nighttime ability. Temporarily expands the range of all turrets by 20%. Each building, another 20%. Well, that sounds alright. Turret range? Probably. So nighttime we get attacked then. That's, that's the tower defense thing. Have at least 10 workers at the end of the contract. Cool. Sure. And kill an arachnor on a cavernous planet. Or, or go deep. Attack rate of all explosive type turrets. Let's just go in for the turrets. Explosive turrets with range. Sure, cool. Platform preset. You can select and customize a platform for the required task. Initial technologies and bonuses. Truths depend on the platform and cannot be changed. Okay. Accessible from the start of the contract. Access to them unlock through platform upgrades. So for the moment, everything's locked because we haven't really done anything. We have just the Earth Crusher platform, the classic drill core platform, reliable, easy to learn. It's got a barracks. It's got a factory. Produces iron or swarmlet, recruiting units, laboratory to research upgrades, machine gun turret, and the gun 311 turret, which is possibly the explosive one. High HP, high damage and range, low attack speed. You're, uh, uh, nothing to really do here. There are also upgrades, which are no doubt locked. Permanent, once an uh, upgrade is acquired, will always be active when using this platform, right? This screen and this previous screen, I'd probably just lock off because I'm already like, uh, what is all this? 
it's a bit much for me at the moment. Currently, I'm kind of okay with just like, have a mission, go, and then qualifications are unlocked and we go through like a, a second more kind of complicated tutorial mission that's a little more proper so we can unlock those qualifications and then afterwards then like the game finally begins and we get to do like the platform preset window and all that kind of is grayed out lock it out however a little bit too much all at once but i guess we just go for it because like if you can't do anything at that window anyway then you know does the player really need to know about it Ooh. whoa All right, we, we're in. Hold enter to start drilling down. Sure. We're doing it. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> uh, click on the construction button to open the building construction menu. Press the right mouse button to cancel an order for miners. Increase the press R to read this priority of the block mining order. Hover over it and press left mouse button. Right, so I can prioritize as well. Uh, do I have just like... Oh, okay, I can WSAD. Click on the construction button to open the construction menu. Right. Space bar to put the game in technical pause. Tactical paw! Okay, we need to feed information a lot slower to the player. <laughs> Worker info. Yeah, current time. Okay. Uh, current target depth. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're a third of the way there, and the core's looking solid. There's the resources. And permanent resources, right? We saw those at the main menu. Lunarite, Galaxium, and Warp Stones. Receive them in the case of a successful ex evacuation. Right, mine four coal. Okay. We have a mining quota to meet. All about that quota, right? I can kind of see that that's coal. Kind of, sort of, ish. Right mouse button to cancel the order. Yeah. And uh, hover over it, left mouse, and you just click it again to make it important. Definitely do that. And I'm assuming that's the three coal that we need to build a barracks to get more people. Um... And the turrets go up there. First two turrets are free! Yo! Okay. Are we attacked from above? Or also below? I'm going to put a 311 up on the top, assuming that we get attacked from below. And then maybe over here we go for just like the machine gun turret, yeah? So that's like a little bit... A little bit of spread. I wonder if there's a button I can hold just to show like all of the, all of the ranges of all the turrets. Okay, let's unpause. Drug. Oh, wow, look at him go. Yeah, go red guy. So the red dude's doing the mining proper. Speed up to double, press Q, and then normal speed E. Get digging. I don't know what these are, but I guess go for those two. Okay. Let's get a... I guess all of these, right? Produces iron ore swarmlet. Each building further reduces cooldown. Two factories and we get a barracks in a minute? Oh, I don't know. Oh, that wasn't coal. That's that's coal. There, that, that might be coal. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, okay, night's approaching. 
Night's approaching at night, various monsters will start coming into the mine, driven crazy by the energy of the core. Don't forget to order the workers to retreat before the night starts. Hold R key to make them all retreat. As soon as they're safe, night will automatically begin if it's currently daytime. Ah, so I can just rush ahead into night then. Okay. Uh, I'd like to go for a barracks quick. Okay, that wasn't cold that we mined. All right, we'll just we'll just return Stop home then. It's time to head back to safety. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, there's also stuff above. Well, crud. It's all right, I guess. I just figured slow firing, uh, long range, you know, rain down. And then quicker rain down. Yeah, they're a bit expensive. Three flint and a and a ruby. Alright. Um I I believe. Hold F to dismiss. I could just kick them out. Right. We're Return okay though. The Th those ones barely hurt. I did it! Or, I guess just mine, like, everything? I don't know. Okay, we're turning one of those into... I don't know. Hmm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. Is this even anything here? Is this, like, dirt? I think that's just dirt. It looks like it'd be a mineral of some form, but I don't think it is. I guess finish it off, but... Okay. So... Barracks, then. Get that going. This is about to finish crafting its thing. Okay, that's just generating iron for free? Produces iron or swarm loot. Reduces, it just it just crafts it. All right, cool. And then we'll hire another miner man, a hauler, or a shooting monsters guard. Let's go for like another miner and another guard. Oh, that's as much as the queue goes as the one. Okay. One miner, please. Is that anything there? One of those red things that we've been needing. Yeah, that seemed to be generally nothing. I think it's just like kind of sturdier dirt. Also some some hostiles. The night is upon us. Nighttime's coming. Okay. Okay, everybody fall back. Fall back. Jeez. Go for another machine gun turret on the right side, I guess. We'll get another guard going, too. Because this dude's, um... Dying? Oh, I like the kind of parallax on the edges there. That's neat. I don't think the guards help against those. I think... I think we're relying on just... Just the turrets for the night. Okay. Well, with the two miners, we can go through and, uh... Go quite a bit deeper. We need more of this guy. I don't know what that looks like when we're... That stuff we simply can't mine. Those are both apparently nothing. This wild green thing, I think, is one of those materials that we keep. There's some olives in the wall here. I think that turns into a baddie. Maybe? 
Technologies found open up access to the construction of new buildings or turrets until the end of this contract. So temporary stuff then. Active daytime, uncover the fog of war. Increases radius or the oscillator. Lower the defense of blocks in a radius, speeding up process of destroying them. Ooh. I'll take that. What's that take to make? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. We can go for that, and I guess we go for a laboratory tool. Let's keep at it, I suppose. Make them softer. Oops. Oh, there's something happening here. Prioritize that. Okay, cool. I think we stopped it from coming through. I don't know. Stop all work. It's time to head back to safety. You're right. We need a lot of materials for some of this, and multiple labs for the higher tiers as well. Worker health, worker speed, mining speed, damage of guards. Yeah, okay. For the moment, not a huge priority there. Well, we got some big ones. It'd be great to get some explosive turrets, man. Hmm. You know what else would be great is some more rapid fire on the left side. <laughs> um. <clears throat> no, 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 don't, don't destroy the. But no, I don't get a refund at all. We'll just hang out there. It's fine. The core can take it. Probably. Seems okay. Mm. Morning has arrived. But, uh, okay. Today's priority turrets on the left side of the screen. <laughs> in. While we continue mining all that. And then maybe we, like, soften up over here and mine some of this too. Wrap that up. You get a rapid turret on the left. Excellent. Interesting that we have only two building spots on the left, but like three on the right. So I assume as we get deeper, we still have access to this upper tunnel. So this is still like a first line of defense for some of the stuff. So really we need to be getting the materials quickly so that we can go deeper faster and kind of sort of get more turrets than for defense, I guess. Laser station or a stunner. Nighttime ability releases a ray that deals damage to all enemies it hits. Mm. 18 second cooldown. Slow down a group of enemies. I think that would be better. I'm kind of out of building space is the thing, though. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Let's go with, um... Another, another digger, and then we can get a hauler. Maybe, like, one hauler per two diggers, because the diggers have a lot of... Uh, just dirt to get through a lot of the time. I'll get a stunner over there, then, I guess. Construction button to build a new level for buildings. The higher the level, the higher the cost of buildings on it. Construction button to build a new level for building. Oh. Oh. Oh, neat. Okay, that's nice. We have a lot more room than I thought. Oh, jeez. Nighttime's coming. Oh, team fall back. Oh. Should be a bit of a nicer night. Oh yeah, that's kind of nice being able to just like freely stun stuff. Probably freeze the group of three big ones as they come down, yeah? Maybe these three? Ha! Ah, just completely stops them. Wow, okay. Nice, and the damage of this big guy is really significant. Okay, okay, alright. 
Uh, start binding through, get all the things. That's that's some more coal, right? That's what we're after, yeah? Laser corrector destroys a random block. Each building of this type works separately. Destroys a random block, though, right? Like, doesn't mine it out, so it could destroy your resource. That's how it reads to me. Reduces the reload time of turrets in the radius. Three block radius, though. How does that work? Do I build that on the wall? Ah, uh, yeah, I do. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so there is some wall stuff that we can build, too. Uh, still don't have the materials for upgrades there. Let this guy just keep pounding that out. We'll get another carrier. Oh my god, that block is hefty. Those olives. Okay, uh, we got a little bit of, uh, a little bit of slowness happening with some of the hauling nowadays. As we're able to... That dude's dead. Uh, guard? Oh, I don't know if I have any more guards. Um, guess I'll get a guard. Uh, that guy just creamed us. <laughs> that guy just annihilated, like, everybody. Okay, don't run out of guards. <laughs> <clears throat> At least the turrets do eventually help you. Everybody, everybody back home. There's a lot to haul, actually. Yikes. Okay. Just, uh... I need a miner, so uh, thankfully we can do this while the night happens. Big appreciation there. Work speed, mining speed, damage of guards, health of all workers. I would want, like, regeneration. I'm sure there's, like, an infirmary building that we can get, right? Because those those guards that I had, they, they were wounded from, like, a 1v1. I don't think they ever healed overnight. So I feel like the three minerals for a little bit more health, I feel like I'd rather just buy a new worker, because it's not like they rank up, right? So if I don't have a way to heal them. Just general speed, I think it'd be fun. Help out with all of them. There. Perfect. And we're out of coal. Or not coal. Out of flint. Or whatever that is. Okay. At least nighttime wise, we're kinda set. Things are happening with that. We have one of each. I'll take a second hauler. So keep an eye out for the, the pulsing rocks, because that seems to be... That seems to be hostiles, then. Definitely, like this. We mine that before it can do its thing, nothing happens. No, leave my hauler alone. Okay. Uh oh. It's happening again! It would have been faster for you to mine through that. I'm gonna have to tell you to retreat, I'm pretty sure. Oh, just in time. Nah. <sighs> okay. I, um. I'm not sure. Hold on. <laughs> just. Give me a minute. Mining speed, damage of guards. Those those sound pretty important. We still need to get like a second layer. Yeah, all right, nice. Slow down a group of enemies. Uh, somebody just click it. Each forty percent more radius of that is pretty big. Maybe. Oh yeah, you gotta remember I can also soften up the rocks too. Okay. Yeah, fine. Can I get another... Oops. Another barracks? Five and one? Yeah, alright. We need a lot more of that flint stuff for the... 
The two haulers, the one miner, and a guard. Hmm. Hmm. This operation's not feeling terrifically successful, it's gotta be said. Two miners, two haulers, and one guard. Let's get a third miner going. We do have nighttime coming soon. Let's soften that. Get that mined up quick, please. Thank you. Okay, back home. Queue up some stuff to be mined then. You're right. I don't know what that is. Ooh. What are you? Well, it's dead, whatever it is. A little bit of a stun. There's a lot of things coming down nowadays. Hmm. There's no way to, like, prioritize targets or anything, I think. Increased daytime activity of underground worms. Okay. <sighs> Fine. There is something uh, alert over there last night. Kind of curious what that was, if anything. Another guard would be great. So was that the population captain? Seven people. happening over here. I think for the most part, unless it's like a really bright, obvious piece of dirt, it, it, it doesn't do anything. I think. Ooh. There's one there. Ah, crud. Guard! Yeah, these guards are really weak, actually. Ramony. I think we're too late for this one as well, right? Maybe. Yeah. Fall back. Uh. Okay. Cancer retreat. Truck. <laughs> the worms are a little bit problematic unless I can set up like proper sort of stop points for folks. I don't know. Oh god, there's another one here. What's that over there? Oops. Nah, this this one's this this is this is the one. Right here. Ah, god. <laughs> oh. Oh that. That looks like a worm. Okay, let's hire some new people. Oh god. I need a barracks. Can I like can I scrap that and get thank you. Yeah, I need like another Barracks or something. Oh, that cost one to destroy the that crud. All right. Um. All right, night time, everybody. Woo! Okay, it also just creams the bugs when I make it night down there, so that's 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 handy. Yikes. <laughs> them up there just to like get a, a bit more of a cluster. I guess I don't have any explosives so that doesn't really help me doing that actually. Um, I'm feeling a bit limited without being able to like set target priorities and stuff during this. Uh, something like that maybe? I don't, I don't know. Because the slow turret is spending its big wind-up killing just a small basic thing, which means all the big stuff just kind of floods in. Like, like, the priority is all... It's all wrong. At least we can get a really nice stun here. There we go.
Wait, can I increase the Q as well? No, okay. I should just hire on quite quickly. I don't even know if I'm ready to go deeper. <laughs> it's uh, not tremendously easy with all of the everything happening here. Like, having to kind of just be aware of where all of the baddies may be coming from, like, constantly. And getting the miners and workers over there, because I'm, I'm pretty sure the guards, I can't... I can't tell the guards to do anything, per se. They just, they're on cruise control. So even if I know that I can't get over there and stop the spawn from happening, like this one, I know I won't be able to get there. I'll just have to tell people just retreat. And I hope that the guard is able to bring it down. Which, since they kind of blow up 1v1, it's uh, not so simple. Like, they just barely win. <laughs> Cancel retreat. And then uh, hold F to dismiss, or... Like, what happens with you being almost dead? Like, I don't think you heal at all. If I dismiss you, you just die. Right. <laughs> oh, crap. Really have to be like on top of the rocket launcher, grenade launcher, laser turret, groups of enemies, explosive grenade splits into four smaller grenades. Launch rockets, increases damage, lasers at enemies in a huge radius. If laser is if the target has less than half their HP, the laser deals triple damage to it. Oh, yeah, I want the grenade launcher. That sounds excellent. I assume it's way expensive. Requires two of the red block thingies. Right. Yeah, that's becoming a bit of a problem is like... ...getting these resources. I wonder if I'm massively inept or if we're like... ...kinda sort of expected to maybe lose the first one and like we still get to carry some stuff home. Because we're only we're only a third of the way down. Like I haven't even had an opportunity to get any deeper yet. It's feeling kind of bad. It's all feeling a little bit hopeless here. Time to retreat. Return to the platform. All right, turrets, let's go. Uh, I have two miners, one hauler, and two guards though. So at least we're sort of ready for the morning. Sort of. Pause that group. Maybe we can get them to combine with this group back here and then we get one huge group that we can do a huge stun on. Because thankfully the benefit of the stun, and I assume any ability that's AoE like that that I throw down, doesn't have a target limit to it. It's just everything that it touches, so sometimes slowing them up enough like that could be all we need. Should have waited to get this guy in there too, but oh well. beginning to realize how weak these machine gun turrets are. You know what this reminds me of a little bit is like Kingdom, right? It's kind of pixel art, side scrolly type thing. Because I also had it in that where a lot of my money was being spent replenishing myself from the previous day. Morning, it's time to get back <laughs> I never really got the hang of it. Alright, let's uh... Queue up these resources and see what we can do here. I'm afraid to speed up time because of the monsters that just appear in the rocks. I think for the most part, I'd be wanting to get maybe like my first three or four buildings to be this furnace thing just to generate the material that I use for everything else. Oops. 
Get it. Destroy it. Yeah. Got it. Nice. I'm also curious what the alternative uh, AI is. Okay, so I got two of that now. Shrug. Doesn't feel like much. And I don't remember what this was. <laughs> what? What were the olives? <laughs> Besides heart to mine? Also prioritize this one, I guess. Never mind. Prioritize this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Two miners are heading over. Can we make it in time? I have no idea. Nope. At least the miner kind of kites a little bit while the guards bring it dead. Pretty sure I need help with nighttime pretty soon. The night is upon us. I hope this turns into a red thing. Well, that is really difficult to mine through. Okay, I don't know what that is. That's the red thing that I want, though. 100%. All right, hello everything. How we doing? <laughs> yeah, cause I need I need two of that for this. Ugh. Okay. It's just speed up. There's not a whole lot else I can do right now. Until the cooldown's about ready, and then try to get a nice position for that. Let's speed it up again. Morning call. Return to the mines. Guys, I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not convinced. Can we get a shortcut mined up there? That'd be great. I'm just gonna cancel those as well so the miners are all sort of stuck together. Right. There's that. I guess, uh... Let's mine through all this. Get it done with quick. There's another red guy for us here. Want that. That'll be our two reddens. So we got generally the sort of flint for the rest. The fancy green thing for back out at the main menu for making next runs easier. There's that. Still waiting on one of the red things to be brought up. Um, the night is upon us. You heard, I guess, nighttime go. To the platform immediately. <laughs> Still missing the one red one. Um, hmm. You give a. Yeah, you don't give a red one. Do you give a red one? You don't give a red one either. Do you give a red one? You do give a red one. Alright, that'll work for now. Yeah, grenade launcher. About, I don't know, 15, 20% of its radius at the bottom there is a bit pointless. I guess it helps if, you know, one of the creepy crawlies comes up from underground, I guess. I suppose, suppose there's that. I'm liking the splash damage though. Because the splash damage like extends its range a little bit. It like almost chains. 
There we go. Pause all of them on the right side. Let the grenade do its thing. Now I feel like we're getting kind of powerful. Let's get... Get another hauler, I guess. Uh, another laboratory is not hugely necessary. I think the big thing that I'd be wanting is, like, more factories for, uh... Really just pound out. Iron, was it? Yeah, iron. Really just pound that out. And as long as I'm on top of that during the day, it shouldn't be too bad. Let's find those precious ores. In. Yeah, we're like as deep as we can be currently is uh, sort of the thing here, though. Oh, it's just laying right there. Okay. I was wondering where the last coal was. Maybe in the corner, but no, all right. Yeah, fine. So yeah, how quickly is that going? Is that going to pay for itself at all? I don't know. I think we've lost the research upgrade as well by dismantling the upgrade building. I don't feel too bad about that, though. And I think because we got rid of those olives, I think that stopped the mobs from appearing in the dirt. It's, it's been quiet the past couple days because of that. A mines turret. Expl oh, explosive mines. Not like mines. Effective at the bottom of the mine shaft. Boost workers in radius. A drone carrier. Send a drone to collect the mined resources. Ooh. Right, let's try a reroll. What else do we got? The laser turret again, a machine gun. Alright, sure. Active nighttime ability. Machine gun. Heck yeah. More nighttime abilities, and we have the coal to drill down. So, uh. We'll do that. Next morning, we're heading down. I don't think there's a whole lot for me to do. Like, if I were to hold R and tell you to come back, that kicks us into nighttime, but... I haven't shortcut my progress here. It also paused the progress, so I've actually lost out on resources doing that. Bit of a shame. That's fun. I like that one. That's a neat one. Pause those guys. So I think this right side, I think we got this under control. Kind of nasty, explosive looking guys. Um, I don't know if the machine gun like actually rips through things down below or if the bullets hit just the first thing they touch. Probably, probably hurts the first thing they touch, right? It's fine, it's fine. The sun um. <laughs> Rip worms? Uh, what was that all about? <laughs> identical buildings improve some parameters of the work. Yep, yeah, got it. Up to five identicals on a platform. Okay. Alright. So I could technically get two more factories, but these are getting very expensive, though. They're getting more expensive every time I build one, I'm pretty sure. And that increases damage by 30%. That increased radius of the stun. We... Yeah, we do still have room for turrets up here, too. Excellent. That was what I was hoping for. Uh, yeah, dig. Dig down, folks. Go for it. Continue getting kind of sort of what iron I can. Do I want a third miner? Like, the faster I can mine through, the better, generally, right? It puts us sort of at our limit. 
with population until I build another barracks. Because I want to spread out, I want to find those olives and take out those olives so then it is safe down below and I don't need to worry about micromanaging the digging that's happening down here. I can just kind of speed us through, right? Like, because this window also pops up just periodically, and I'm not sure if this opens up just like over time or blocks mind, or maybe the olives are contributing to that. I don't know. Because it says technology is found, so. Mm -hmm. Slows enemies with a laser, explosive rockets, it gets long range targets. After selecting a target, it gradually accelerates the rate of fire. Extremely effective against targets with high HP, but not against low HP. You all take that. Oh, how was that to build? Yikes. Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's just down like that. Over like that. Get this guy mined up. Go for softening some blocks. Keep the iron happening. Stay focused down here watching, guys, because then I think overnight I can try to figure out what buildings I want to plonk down, right? I think that, that sounds like a plan. Max orders. Yeah, we don't know where the end is, though. I think just mining straight down to find the end could be good. Worker booster. Boost workers in the radius. Or the mini drill launcher. Send a drone to destroy blocks. Maybe? 120 second cooldown for that. That's a little bit, uh... A little bit much. It would be nice, though, because then it's like, Oh no, something's about to burrow, and we just, like, you know, just delete it with the drone. Depends how quickly... Oh no, this isn't a drone, is it? Oh no, it is a drone. It depends how quick the drone is, I guess. Um... I don't know, there's a Pac-Man there? I don't... <laughs> I don't know what a lot of these blocks are. Ooh, uh... <laughs> Keep finding down there, and we're about at night time. So let's get that minigun on. What is that? So I, I click something for you? Was that the thing? After selecting a target, it accelerates the rate of fire. So things I, I click now. I can do that. It looks like you just automatically do that. After, after it selects a target, I guess, is the thing. Right. Okay. That also makes a bit of sense. Just. Okay, uh, Just annihilate things. <laughs> I like it when it's a little more hands on. This is nice. I'm alright with this. Uh, I don't think I need to stun a whole lot here. As long as it's decent at choosing a, a bigger, healthier target, it it does a pretty good job just ripping and tearing through, because look at that fire rate. Other stuff gets in its way and it just Yeah. <laughs> May as well. Okay, whatever this is, it's growing and I don't like the high probability of block collapses during daytime. That sounds awful. High probability people just die. Prioritize these blocks, would you? They aggravate me. Um, 
Are we okay? <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. <laughs> we lost a guard and I think a miner. <laughs> Got to figure out where the edges are. It's probably the left right edges, surely. But how deep does it go? Um. Yeah, I mean, I guess get another guard. Because like if I don't have I would want to have a turret that's got really good range down here to help, like, the platform. Because if I, if I don't have a guard available, it's just going to be doom for everybody unless I get them up to the platform. And it's just like, and then what? Because I kind of don't want a second guard. I kind of want to get a third miner guy just to help get through quickly and then just faster hauling I think I'm here to increase the company's income. it's just like a staircase I don't know what this is I'm quite happy about the iron generation we have going on attack rate of all energy type turrets Building explodes to do massive damage to all enemies. The building will be destroyed after use, of course. A nice emergency. Oh, wait. Oh, down here. Uh, okay. How does it build? Hmm. I guess if the turrets all failed. <laughs> Then we still have something to go for. Hmm. Alright. In the machine gun turret catalyzer? All machine gun type turrets. That that sounds okay. But I mean, this also frees up like an employee slot. I suppose. Yeah, let's get the catalyzer. Because we still got room on the side here to get more machine gun turrets and the like. If, uh, well, if necessary. Explosive types, another grenade launcher up there. It's tough to say because I only got two ruby thingies, so... Swarmlet. So... Could go for a couple machine gun turrets for now. Let's do the... A couple of those for now, and then I could get a synergy thing and like a grenade launcher or something. I don't know if I want to bother with, like, another minigun turret. That's a fun one. I like that. That is a fine joy. This thing is just disappointing to have down here. <laughs> I don't know, man. This left side is very weak compared... Please take out that explosive one. Thank you. Because <laughs> I think those do splash damage to everything around them. Alright, that's that. Morning has arrived. Good morning, everyone. Let's get digging. <laughs> Let's get digging. <laughs> We haven't had any ads pop. I don't think we have uh, any more olives down here. Or whatever is spawning enemies. It's it's pretty chill down here. I think the one guard is fine. Oh, well saying that. 
Um, what? Okay. Uh, literal flamethrower rock. Okay, you know what? Just everybody retreat. It's everybody out. Everybody out. Thank you. Okay, everybody not out. Cancel retreat. Cancel retreat. Uh, I don't know what to do about that one. <laughs> like, it's it's another one of those things where it's like, I feel like I don't have enough control over people. Oh, God. I don't think I have enough control over people to be able to, like, do something about it. I can't mind those in time. I can't mind those in time, and we can't win 1v1 anymore against the Beatles. <laughs> this is... This is awful. Uh, another guard, I guess, for what they're worth. Like, I think if, if you didn't get the researches early on to... to handle this for you, then you're just... you're screwed. The technology is absolutely mandatory. Can I can I afford that again? Laboratory. So we got the speed. And then I guess guard damage, huh? Okay, watch out for that. That was awful last time. That was yeah, that's a big worm. Okay. Interesting that it comes by like overnight as well. It's not just like a, like a daytime drama. Here, let's pause all the machine gun a bit to help out. A second one of these guys would be great for a little more damage, was it? That'd be nice. Really tear through some of these weaker things. Yay, sunrise. Uh, the second miner. I'm gonna see about getting to this from above. Just don't try to mine it from the front, okay? Excellent. Then we can get these guys. Uh, are you still set to retreat? No. There's just nothing for you to haul. That makes sense. I don't know why the guard's way up there, too. Um, one of you to retreat straight away. I guess I'll also get you to retreat straight away, because that's going to be a problem. The guards do more damage. We should be able to win 1v1 now. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> no, no, we do not. 25% <laughs> more damages. Not enough damage. <laughs> All right. We need a symbol or something for them for uh, canceling retreat. It's tough knowing if they're, like, still retreating or what. Show me where to start digging. Still on cooldown. There we go. Uh, we stopped one. Please get those olives out of here. Thank you. Okay. We can afford another upgrade. General mining speed or health of workers? Hmm. Hmm. We start needing uh, dried berries in order to get these fancier ones. So not only do I need another lab, I also need more of these guys, which swarmlet. I don't have a way to generate that, but I think I saw. I think I can generate swarmlet through one of my 
technology things, I think. For, like, next run or so. I guess mining speed, because some of these blocks are very sturdy. Makes it easier to rip through stuff like this, too. Ta-da. Feels a bit of a waste having used the weakened thing to get through that and not actually, uh... You know, mined through everything that was weakened. Right, so turret-wise, we're... We're kind of okay. <laughs> I would really need like a synergy turret up here because I'm thinking it can rip apart the one like the the 311 that's down there and get like just anything else. <laughs> I'd, I'd have one iron and two swarmlet in addition. So one iron and three swarmlet, which isn't enough for another grenade launcher. I think we just have to deal with it this day. Was that enough for anything? <laughs> Not really, no. Okay. Alright, we'll just deal with it, I guess, for now. Stop all Everybody, come on up. To the oh. Oh, that's interesting. Um. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, all right. We're kind of getting out because we get these worm things all the time, and you're probably gonna die down there otherwise. Get a machine gun just straight away. May as well. Stop some of these bigger things. Okay, it looks like they got out in time. Nice, well done. Congrats. Oh no, the explosive one hit. Uh. I'm used to those just annihilating you in tower defense. Man. It's a bit tough. I'll be honest, it, it, it's tough. And if I am down here, the bullets just continue going, which is good to know. Hmm. Might be a strat. Just at the start, just machine gun here so we get the wild spread. Daytime abilities unavailable tomorrow? That sounds bad. I don't want that. I disagree. Let's uh, prioritize these webby blocks, yeah? I guess just like, no, I don't really need to. They're very squishy. So turrets are in order for this next night. Weaken these, not that it really help much. Dead end. All right, we need to find more stuff. There's one out of four, by the way. Ugh. We have a mining quota to meet. Go, go, go. Two miners with increased mining speed. They were a little bit late getting there, but Ah, oh, got it. The day is saved. Probably worth also just like mining through these sides too. Let's do some exploration, yeah? bit bad. Ooh. 
Go to work. It's impassable stone, though. Everywhere. Night time coming. I think we're okay just to head back now. There's some olives for tomorrow to take out. And turret building. We've got enough for a proper sort of thing. A grenade launcher. I think I'd want a grenade launcher on the left, really. It's like such a problem having this guy here. <laughs> Stupid freight turret. Alright. Um. Screw it. Just another minigun. Why not? I mean, I know why not, but like, why not? You know? <laughs> Everybody's in? Yeah, we're good. There we go. So if I say two, like, here, he just... It's much, much bigger spread. Yeah, it, it sort of kind of clips everybody a bit. Really just kind of. Our major weakness being the left side. Anything wild happening over here is what I really need to be working on pausing and freezing. Just, uh, something like that, yeah? Mm, kind of, sort of. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Ooh, 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 that was close. Don't think my stun even needed to happen. Yeah, we took a little bit of damage, but I mean, that wasn't too bad overall. It was okay. Stay fine. Let's find those precious ores. Let's do it. Definitely get those olives first, though. Those are the most important. We don't have the, the daytime abilities. Arguably, I should have my nighttime abilities during the eclipse then, but that's all right. Oh boy. There we go, got it. Okay. Six! God, oh, man, that's not terribly worthwhile. Could build a drone carrier so we have that for next night. I think a bigger stunner would be pretty good, though. I'll grab that. Because I like the stun a lot. I'm kind of relying on the stun quite often, so having more stunning happening would be, uh, yeah, very good. Oh my gosh, these things. There, thank you. Watch out for that down there, it's like way too late. Uh, just, just fall back. Just all, all you guys fall back. Yeah? Maybe get this mind out quick so you can make a hasty retreat. Oh, it, it just died. Oh, did it think I held R? I think it thought I held R. I didn't mean to hold R, though. I maybe held it a little bit too long. All right. Well, <laughs> it's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, super concentrated fire. Sort of worked. For 17 days we've been down here, man. I wonder how long it's meant to be. I'm pretty sure I'm being horrible at this. <laughs> it just makes me wonder, like, I wonder how this is actually meant to be blued. Mm. 
Good morning, team. It's time to get back to work. Take it here first. Go, go, go. <laughs> get that out of here. These cruddy olives. There. Okay. Oh. Happy to have found that. If there's one down there, I'll find it. I think I want to go for another miner. I, I feel like I'm a little bit better about keeping people alive now that I'm just like, don't even bother trying to fight <laughs> the, the spawns that are down here. They're very easily too far away. I don't know what these are, just like extra healthy stones? Are these burlier to get through? Is this indicative of uh, something kind of cool being there? I don't know. There's, uh, there's our third coal here, though. I think I'm getting the hang of this, though. It's like one of those deals where I hope I... I it feels like it's a, it's a bit more of a roguelite. Like, you're not necessarily meant to win your first one. You can, definitely. It's a little bit based on luck. But uh, it's mostly just the learning experience, that first go. And if nothing else, I've learned a lot. Definitely want to get that mined out when you can. It's facing off to the right. And then get that one mined out. It's right there, so we can beat it easily. Let's dig into this. Like, I think FTL is is a kind of a decent example as well, where it's like, you can do well your first run, but, like, you're probably not going to. Oh, no, you don't have to prioritize that. That's okay. I just I thought maybe just, you know, while you're there. I do really wonder what that alternative AI is. Should I enable that? Alternative Miner AI. I wonder if that toggles um, doing stuff in the order that you've set it to? Or whatever's closer. To to so, like, switching between those. And then, I don't think I need to do that. I would like... Reload time of turrets in the radius. Three block radius. Oh. I thought I like... Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, the adjacent two turrets is what you say, basically. Alright. Um, yeah, I really need help on the left side here. I really want to destroy you. And get in just a normal turret. And that's about all we can do currently, because I don't have any more, um... Red stuff. Swarm lit. Because then when things start going wrong down here, we end it faster. Because this long turret is spending so long targeting just, like, some... One single random thing that the if it if it one shots it great cool but there's other stuff to take out and now with these things firing faster it's just generally easier to get through if we were fighting a lot more bigger things like this then I'd, I'd maybe be more inclined to grab that bigger turret but nah this is this is easy we we sort of clear the backlog a lot easier this way this is nice I still love this machine gun. The, the interactivity of like being able to like do stuff myself is great, rather than just like a passive sit back and watch type thing. It's very nice. The sun rises. Begin your work shifts. I'm not sure how I feel about the self-destruct building being built down here. I would like to think that that'd be like a mine that you plunk on the wall there that just boom, just like this big blast outward. It's like a huge claymore. I'm paid per mineral, not per hour. And I think since. Again, like the previous level. It's a bit late, since I think we've mostly cleared this out. Uh, I don't think there's any more spawns happening. 
And yeah, they seem to be quite happy just going for the nearest block now, which is... Probably fine. I think that's alright. Um, I have a plan. Just you just die? Oh. Oh. Didn't quite work as well as I thought it would. Okay. Uh day nineteen! Yay! <laughs> I thought I thought we'd be killing the one dude that spawned and then this guy would also just explode right away. Yeah well. It's fine. Very concentrated fire into the big one. Pretty much kill it and a couple little ads around. Very left heavy this side right now. Hmm. Wish I had a grenade launcher over there. <laughs> oh my god. It's getting bad. I think this run is like just about over. A long run. Does this have like a save? I don't think so. I'm kind of bored mission, I guess. Not really a game to pop on for a quick hour, is it? Man, like everything ended up just being. Arachnor is approaching you. He'll reach the mine at night. I don't know what that means. We had a quest to kill Arachnor, right? Oh, I, I coulda. Have at least 10 workers at the end of the contract, right? Yeah, um, hmm. And reach a depth of 250? Man, I don't think either of those are happening today. <laughs> don't need to get those. I think that's happy just being there. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> don't don't mine directly up. Um ever. <laughs> Especially with alternative miner AI. <laughs> because they will <laughs> they will all die then instead of just a bit dying. Man, this guard with, like, no health. Just get out of here. No, I said... I said retreat for you guys, I thought. Oh, there's a Rachnor. Hi. I didn't realize it was already nighttime? Or has it done that thing again? Where I was paused telling people to retreat and it thought I held it down. I think that's like kind of what's happening here. Very concentrated machine gun fire. Mm. Uh, okay, bye. Morning has arrived. Resume your duties. All right, everybody. Yeah, duty resuming. Woo! I wonder what fell on me. Man, that's very unfortunate. I guess revealing some of that fog of war would be a good thing, right? Because that would allow me to see what all this is down here. Oh, um. Crap. That might be a problem. Yeah, it's a problem. Do you, do you burn yourself? That ah, crap. Okay, if I tell everybody to retreat because there's hostiles down there, it just puts us at nighttime. Not a fan of that. <laughs> Not a fan of that at all. <laughs> I just want people out because of these bogus things spawning in. Ah, eh, crud. <laughs> eh, there's a few oddities with this game. I guess, like, now I know. 
It wasn't me holding it for a bit too long, at least, I guess. Yeah. That was a pretty okay machine gun fire. We're not doing so hot with the uh, clearing out up above anymore. I think the second minigun probably needs to go up there. It's handy for times like this, but... There's so much as a little crud. I, I really want another grenade launcher. Good morning, team. It's time to get back to work. Okay, Arachnor's coming back again tonight. I don't have any guards, and you know what? That's alright. I want another miner. And I think I'm going to alternative minor AI off, so they split up a bit. Let's dig into this. Because if we have an incident, I don't want to lose all of the miners at once because they're clumped together. They call it a mine. I call it an office. Let's get digging. Oh my god. Alright, leave that for now. Prioritize this one. Let's soften up all these blocks. There we go. Then go for this and... <laughs> Alright. We're doing it. There's a way through and a way up. Okay. Third miner, go. Uh, grenade launcher down here, destroy. Grenade launcher up here, get. That reduces the reload time, but those are on the right. The thing is, is we have such a massive imbalance here. Our right side is so stacked versus the left side. <laughs> We need to get that last bit of coal. Let's leave this for now. Where is the last coal? Do we know? We don't yet. Alright. Um, there's not many places it could be. No, don't mine from a don't mine from below. That's bad. I have to right now, but. Okay, more olives, I think. I think I'm gonna go for the... Oh my gosh, we get to choose it. It's been so long, it feels like, since I could choose a technology. Launch rockets at night. Long range target, 16 block range. See, stuff like that is like what I'd be wanting, I think. Let's go for that, because then I can maybe shoot just like across the way a bit, yeah? Yeah, it's the same as the 311. That's pretty good. Going to scrap you. Turn you into a grenade launcher. Scrap you. Turn you into a rocket turret. Yeah. So we got a bit of a grenade launcher field. And then just some rapid fire goodness funsies. Okay. Nighttime's coming. So is Arachnor or something, right? Everyone back to base. We can chip away at that last half of health and get it dead. Hi. Well, almost half. Uh -huh. Well, at least I stunt. I stunned those two of these. That's kind of fun. I was hoping I could stun him, like, out of it or something somehow. <laughs> the machine gun's great, though, man. It rips and tears. Stunned the whole lot of them, so we'd do some proper damage. The turrets being webbed is a little bit annoying. 
but I don't think is actually doing too much harm to me. And I think he's about to retreat again. Give him the stun and see if we can just get him dead. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe you don't retreat this time. Maybe I just get the two attempts. Got him. Ooh, got him, though. Any goodies? I don't think so. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we got Pac-Mans. Nice. I got... I got nine Pac-Man. Neat. Still no sign of the, uh... Coal. Ah, there it is. Nice. Get me out of here, please. We need to go deeper so I can get more turrets. So we can finish this contract. <laughs> Man. It's not easy. Can I get another tech thingy? Let's get another tech thingy. Get another tier 2 lab. Or get some tier 2, uh... Get some tier 2 techs. Next time, probably. Because of 50% more damage, I think we'd be okay then. To... Annihilate some, uh... Some attackers. Okay. Set the drill to happen, and, uh... Roger that. You're right. Stop all operations! Retreat to the platform! A lot of satisfaction happening with this when, uh, when it starts clicking, yeah? I think I just had a really abysmal start, though. Mostly just start for money. <laughs> uh. Getting achievements and stuff, though. Like, those are popping up. That's happening. Some of them are awful, like, you know, everybody dies, but, you know. <laughs> Once you've reached the target depth, you can start the core and evacuate. Can continue drilling to collect more permanent resources. Evacuation remains available, but not at night. If the core explodes before evac, the contract will still be considered completed, but you don't receive the permanent resources obtained. Right, that's a nice thing to note. And uh, we reach it, so we can we can just get out. Let let's do the let's ju let's oh, just get out. Excellent work. Begin evacuation procedures. The space bus looks a looks a little bit odd. <laughs> All right, though. Generally, pretty decent. A couple of those odd hiccups, though. Whoa. Oh yeah, right. Yeah. You deliver it into the core, right? Which is a bit odd, because if that thing can penetrate the core... I guess... I guess we can penetrate the core from... that depth. Anything higher it doesn't go deep enough, I guess. Okay, I'll accept that. Jesus, 30 pack bands for a contract war, holy crap. Yeah, I didn't do either of those. <laughs> Neither of those are happening anytime soon, I'm afraid. Yikes. Get off. I'm I'm displeased with you. Congrats on completion. Did what nah did what many do not manage to do. Completed the task. Yeah. 86% of the divisions lose all the workers on the platform during the first contact. Really? But don't worry, we always have a contingency plan and we'll send you as many new workers as you need. That's because no one is left without work at Drill Core, at least for a while. New contracts, greater difficulty, don't forget to spend resources, and good luck! Okay. You alright. So, upgrades. Guards work the night shift. At night, they will shoot at monsters threatening the core. Cool. 
the only choice I've got. And then research expansion, new branch of upgrades in the lab, upgrades to increase visibility in the mine, heal workers, and even repair the core. Oh, that sounds incredible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figured there'd be a way to, like, heal people. Healing the core is a bit surprising. Maybe that costs a lot of resources to do that or something, but healing people, I was pretty sure it'd have to be a thing. Just no way otherwise. And that it gets us the core engineer over in Voidmere. Um, for a magnetic field correction. Ah, oh, yeah, same as before. 13 Pac-Mans and 16 future tech companies or so. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like the sort of, like, logo that a cyberpunk company would have. So, let's try... Minimum difficulty, novice borer. Right, these are difficulties. I am screwed. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to succeed this. Um, hmm. I guess we can like throw ourselves in there just to see how rough it is. Is this even a cavernous planet? Okay, it is. Okay, you're fine. Right. So we choose the difficulty, and then in theory we'd be choosing also different uh, planets and stuff on the difficulties. I, I suspect. Platform preset. Still a lot of stuff locked. A level 2 Earth Crusher? Okay. Technology slot of the platform, right. 25 Pac-Mans and 13 of this blue thing. Which, if you went, like, all the way down on that tutorial mission, I call it a tutorial mission, I guess it's not. You may have had enough materials to do that. Hmm. Okay, uh... Start contract? I don't expect this to go very well, but I think I generally wrap it up here. It's a nice little thing, though. It does need a bit of work. I think this is going to be getting quite a little bit of... ...balance going again, because there's quite a few, um... <laughs> there's quite a few things that seem kind of unfair about it, but, uh... Oh, yeah. Overall, it's quite nice. It's a nice, refreshing take on, like, something roguelike, you know? And I also really like the aesthetic of it. Like, I love that everything's got... It's all got an aesthetic. Like, we... It's just, like... You know, like a proper UI type thing. It's very nice. It's something that you don't really see... Too often? Get that lab. I think we leave the other barracks in favor of picking up a second miner. And then the first two turrets are free, right? Okay. Let's see if we can unlock a new turret type or something. So far, so good. We are doing it. You know what, actually? Hold on. I've had a thought. I'm paid per mineral, not per hour. Let's not dig super deep straight away, because it just takes us longer to get to things like this when they happen. Radar, laser watchtower, machine gun turret catalyzer. A ray that deals damage to all enemies it hits. See all the resources on the current level. Mmm. Laser Watchtower, though. Is that also free? Oh. It's one of these, is it? Wait, what? Okay. I think I have to build these turrets first. Yeah, fine. Let's do that, and then... No! What? Where is my... Oh, it is there. Laser Watchtower. <laughs> I'm just blind. Yeah, all right. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Because it's a lot less digging deep. But, I don't think we have to dig deep for good materials at all. I don't think it works that way. It's just this way, it's a lot easier for us to get to threats when they happen. I think... I think quite a lot of what's happened to me that last time was just me being dumb. 
but it was also my first time, so like, come on. All right, everybody home. Everybody home. Let's get the. Uh... Oh yeah, we got got it, quite a few things here. Rifle upgrade, damage guard. Wait, I had that before. The only new thing we've got here for now is block visibility one, but that turns into every morning they heal. And also you can get a periodic heal. I think probably both, not either or. Drilling requires one less coal. Holy crap. There's some pretty huge upgrades here. Um... Nothing for now, because I gotta build turrets. Slash laser things. Laser watchtower. Releases a rate that deals damage to all enemies it hits. Take that, like, toward the center? Because you're not an ability, you just... You just do that. Okay. Cool. Easy peasy. This is way easier so far. <laughs> but yeah, just dig out to the edges and uh, we'll see what we can get, yeah? Get some more miners because it's going to be a lot of dirt digging for a while, I suspect. Because, yeah, otherwise it's like, oh no, an ad's gonna spawn, it's way down here in the corner, and I'm like, I can't get there, which just creates a lot of problems for me. Yeah. But clearing out this way ought to be a lot better. Don't think you're gonna get there in time. Oh, nice, you did. Oh, cool. There are a lot of olives on this one. Clearing out this way, I might be able to get to the olives before we get to a super deep depth. Or at least, maybe the more olives we take out, the less spawns there's gonna be. Would also be a thing. Uh, nighttime. Uh, run. Difficulty doesn't seem too much worse so far. Good morning, team. It's time to get back to work. Doesn't seem too much worse. Try to take all this garbage out because I suspect there's some olives over here spawning so much. Been a lot of things to fight over here. Great with us all being together generally. So like that just came from over there. Like you can see the line coming out. But another something behind those rocks there. There's definitely some stuff over here though. One thousand percent. Yep, there we are. And somewhere over here. And lots much more stuff on this map too, man. Look at all the iron that's everywhere. Primity. There we go, there's that. Second olive. Out of here. And then generally we can queue up. Stuff to mine here. Yeah. I guess also the I don't I don't remember what that was. Okay. Um Yeah, it's nighttime enough. Retreat. Night is upon us. Get to safety. It's another laser watchtower. I mean, <laughs> not a horrible idea. His right side is clear. It just kind of depends what we get for turret layout. I think is going to be like the, the biggest thing. 
I think I definitely want a second machine gun on the left side here because this is helping a ton. But if we get a situation like last time where I get an additional turret placement on one side but four on the other, then I want to buffer that that weaker side with a laser turret, I think. Because I can still destroy you. It's time to get back to work. Three iron. And one swarmlet. Yeah, okay. I get them. It, it caused the one iron to get rid of it, and that's lost and gone forever, but. Technically, otherwise, it's just moving it. So that's okay. Gonna be a lot of stuff to haul around. Uh, don't, I don't want to prioritize it, but somebody get over there and do the. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Getting stuff. I feel more confident this time around. I feel like I've got a stronger grasp of what I'm doing. I feel less helpless, basically. Oscillator was cool, but if I do it right, I don't really need that. Splitter shoots lasers at underground monsters. Ooh. Each building of this type works separately. If I do it right, I don't really need that either, though. Send a drone to collect mined resources means that I don't need, then, to worry about having haulers. I'm curious how well that works. They're very quick. <laughs> Those are exceptionally quick. Okay, that's a great upgrade. And it's a fairly quick cooldown. Multiple buildings what now? Increases the number of drones. Man, that pays for itself real well. It's only two iron for one of these guys. Man. You'll happy about that. Okay, I think we're ready to dig deeper. Dig a bit deeper, and I'd like to maybe get a an easier crossway. Let's get out of here before the worm murders everybody. It's night time, everybody. Massive laser. It's getting swarmy. <laughs> We're managing, though. Managing quite well. And these, these dudes helping out, they don't do a lot of damage, but man, they, they, they do hope. They're working on it. And I just realized I never built a factory. <laughs> hmm. It's four, four iron for the first factory. That's going to take a couple days to pay for itself. There's kind of enough iron around down here. I might not need it too terribly much. Mostly just like, I gotta get stuff hauled. Go drums, go. No sign of any new monster spawns yet either. That's a, that's a good sign. We're reaching what looks to be the bottom of this first layer. Also a good sign. Look at all the stuff everywhere. This is way more full than that last difficulty, man. Uh oh. Fall back! Aha! <laughs> Can I get the research for healing? Health checkup. Full health every morning. Five iron and one. Oh, I'll never remember. Swarmlet. <laughs> Alright. I guess we get that block visibility. And I need a second lab. And then when I get a swarmlet and a bit more iron, we can go for the health checkup. Yeah, all right. I think when we dig a bit deeper, we can also get a new platform here. And I can get a laser off on the left side too. Again, kind of depends. 
sort of where the turret placements end up being. Kind of wonder if I want a second since the guards help out when they're attacking the core. And their range is not terrible. I mean, it's not great damage either, but it is something. Hmm. Alright. Let's see about getting the swarmlet. Get these olives out of here. There's a swarmlet. We can get the health for everybody then. Nope, not that. Workers recover health to full every morning. Or periodically recover 5% of the... Depends what periodically is. Let's go for periodically, because that all that ought to also trigger at night, right? Well, look at all the stuff! What? Dude, was like last run cursed or what what's what's happening? There's so much stuff. It's incredible. There's the exploder again. Attack rate. Lasers at enemies and poses a weakness effect on enemies. They take double damage. Doesn't cause damage, though. We can get that off on the side, though. And then the weakening laser can buff up for these guys, yeah? How does that sound? Gotta remember to send out drones. Help out with the hauling. Like, a lot. Shotgun turret stunner mini drill launcher. Um, explosive projectile shotgun turret? I mean, that sounds sort of too good to pass up. And it seems like this right side is what we're after for that last coal. Because I can't move on even if I wanted to right now. need that. Can I, like... Yeah, I can't tell them to not retreat. Okay. Yeah, fine. Fair. <laughs> Let's get, get back down there real quick. Go. I believe... It's just a lot of rapid-fire turrets, but they do the work pretty okay. Coupled with this guy for some of the bigger stuff. It ain't bad. We've taken hits. Card, 75% health. Tempted to get, like, additional health or resilience or something for workers, too. Good morning, team. Watch it's out. To to Ooh, that was close. You almost got gobbled. Drones, get the good stuff. That's not the good stuff. Uh, no. Okay, you're on it. Good. Hurricane turret. Stream of air that blows enemies and slows them down? Oh my god. I want that. Is that down here? No. Amazing. The energy turrets require so much of this swarmlet, though. Okay. Um... I guess I'll take another hauler, since there's enough stuff everywhere. And then, coupled with the drones, I think that'll be enough hauler for basically forever. Um, oh, there's the coal down there! I was gonna say, we haven't discovered the coal yet. <laughs> I guess get them out of there, and it's just a matter of hauling the rest of this stuff up. Okay... Low enemies and slow them. I think I want the laser turret. Laser turret and a shotgun turret. Like, jeez, that right side is stuck. 
send the drones out quick, and then I think we're good to go. Ah, uh, you didn't get the swarm, but oh, that's frustrating. Sure. Get out of there! No! That was close. Alright. I guess we head out in the morning. That swarm blood is just uh, lost and gone forever then. Yeah, laser turret does some work. Just applies the debuff and moves on to the next target. Nice. A lot of garbage on the left side though. Holy crap. I think, uh... I think I'd want to move the barracks over. And then we can get another laser watchtower, or the rocket watchtower, actually. But that would also be okay. The core is fine! And rip swarmlet. I could have used that swarmlet. Yeah, oh, well. Go, Tron, go. Get it done. But it's like blasting up into this uh, unminable rock, so I think we can kind of ignore that. Easy, I feel like this is like kind of the most important aspect of this game right here is like, how do you map out what you mine, you know? There we go, give me three choices, man. I'm still not sure it destroys a random, like, uh, I don't know, we'll see if it, like, just deletes the block or what. We'll see. Hopefully I, uh, still, like, you know, get the loot from it. Destroys the block like we do. Okay, those rockets are very random. I love it. Very fun. What do we get for rolls? Okay, it's like the same deal. Uh, okay. Alright. If that's the case, I think I want to move that shotgun turret and put that up there or something. One of the biggest issues is all of the, uh... All the little dudes that are on the side. I think I'm also slightly displeased with you. I think I want to get rid of you. Put your materials into just, like, a laser watchtower. Same with you. Just make you laser watchtowers instead, because these are a lot more usable IMO. A second laser there and help out with this entire left side. The debuffing is great, but I feel like I can't synergize with it well enough, and I don't have enough turrets to really make good use of that. That could be something that's fun to put up on top side, so you debuff stuff just as they're coming down. with them. Oh shoot, I didn't even notice that. Uh, crap. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem for you. Turrets, help! Uh, crap. 
tonight blows. <laughs> don't don't get me. Uh there you are. Got a new guard. Yeah, just don't mind me down here, okay? You guys stay up there while I take out these olives. Okay, we lost a haul or two. <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Hopefully we're good now, though. Oh, there's another one over there somewhere. I see that over there. Somewhere out there. Return to the platform immediately. Lasers go! Can I get another one yet? Yeah, I can. Nice. Oh. Wait, they're more expensive up there? Oh. Awkward. I'll get a cheap one down here then, and a slightly more expensive one on the left then, I guess. Do it that way. Yeah, that'll help a lot, I think. I do miss, like, the machine guns that I could call out. <laughs> and that stun. Good morning, team. It's time to get back to work. Go, go, go! Oh yeah, just the two miners. I want a third one, I think. There you are. Go for the poison. Didn't catch where that one came from. Actually, let's just keep an eye out for it. I need to get materials. Could have been the olive I just destroyed, actually. It's like a wild loop around or so. We need everyone back to the platform. Move quickly. Everybody fall back. Poison turret is five and one. Not horribly expensive at least. All the lasers. <laughs> um. Some of the small ones just like weave right between the lasers. They're like not quite wide enough, but at least the big things, like those are almost dead. By the time they get down to me, splurt. The turrets barely have to do anything against them. This is a problem with figure though. I really wish I had a stun or anything. Go shotgun turret, go! Holy crap! Oh, that deleted all of them. Morning, okay, never mind, we're good. It's time to get back to work. That was, uh, that was incredible. If there's one down there, I'll find it. I'm not sure what the shield thing is. Mm -hmm. 
Um, can you not? Are there two olives over here? See, because before there wasn't a surface area for them to pop out, so they're they're basically just, you know, sort of hibernating. Yeah. That's why you don't really want to explore right away. Ouch. Okay, keep keep an eye out for the. <clears throat> The man just drowned in some sand. Time to retreat. Hmm. Return to the platform immediately. I got the materials for a poison gun at least, so there we are. Not incredible range. Kinda decent damage over time though, I guess, right? I almost want a machine gun turret up there. Nothing fancy. Is the poison turret doing its work? You know, it ain't bad damage. That's alright. Those big, slow things? Yeah, alright. Okay, okay. Let's get to it. If there's one down there, I'll find it. Watch out for the sand. I guess we mine that from the side or something. So keep an eye out for more ads being brought in. Okay, thing that deletes a block at random. Where where were you? Laser corrector. Five iron. Okay. Should have that in a moment. This default miner AI at work, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna mind that. <laughs> Man, this core is like so thrashed, holy crap. <laughs> we need to get out of here. Send the drones quickly. Everybody back, the drones might return the last one needed. Yeah. Laser corrector. Yeah. Has to be up here. It's probably like one iron cheaper being down below, but because it doesn't require any swarmlet, uh, that part didn't get more expensive. You just periodically just destroy a block, so keep an eye on that and see how that is exactly working. We want to blow and slow enemies like over here. No, probably not. Maybe like next to maybe here. I don't I don't know how this works. Is like the entire row is just slowed then? Oh, okay. It's just like kind of your half of the map. It actually pulls them back. It doesn't just slow them. Hmm. Okay. That would be Morning, Let's get to it. quite nice to have down here. Increased daytime activity of underground worms. Yeah, I like these guys. Um, fall back. Okay, don't fall back. Oh. Got it. Random block. <laughs> don't destroy this random block. Could be bad. <laughs> I'm having an exceptionally hard time reasoning that you should exist. <laughs> You seem not to be a very good tower. 
or building. Effective at the bottom of the mine shaft. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't like you. Okay. <laughs> Simply not a fan. Um, at the bottom of the mine shaft, though. Why at the bottom? Because I want the hurricane turret here. Yeah, one six and one. So that, that's gonna be uh be a slight problem there. Was that? Oh, I get to tell you where to pull them. Ah, neat. Oh, another one. Um, yeah, the machine gun's great. I like that. Somebody stuck or something? I don't know. Okay. Um, pull them, yeah, upward. Is, is fine. It's kind of fun that I can push or pull them, though. I think maybe pull them, actually, for the shotgun turret. Yo, this core is, like, so screwed. Oh my god. Hmm. 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 Okay, guys, today's the day. We need to find... Oh, yeah, everybody died. What happened last night? I think we're completely screwed then. I'm not sure what happened last... Because there must have been the worms at night. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm... I am unsure. See about destroying that structure and getting, uh... Shotgun turret over there. The poison's kind of fun, but not what I'm after. Back up at the bottom of the mine shaft. I'm putting you up here. So I don't know if that means, like, do they just fall or something? Or just mines down here for, like, the goobledy... Goobledy gooks that come at us from, uh, down below or what? All right, let's let's go, miners. Yeah, I don't have any security guards anymore. Ah, oh, crap. Can you do it? Nah. Help! Uh, turrets, anything. Uh -huh. <laughs> God, uh -huh. it just feels bad. <laughs> it just feels so bad. Um. Right, well, I, I guess we don't really need the yellow over time anymore, huh? <laughs> Get another, another one of those guys. Because there's nobody left to heal over time. <laughs> is a core part of business. To be fair, I, I did expect to lose on this one. In my defense, where'd that even come from, that one? Somewhere over there, I guess. Like, I didn't even see... I didn't even see, like, the line or anything for it. Because, like, it usually draws the line out. Something over there is going on. Go, shotgun! Yeah! Mine's more effective at the bottom of the tunnel. What are you talking about? This looks incredible. I guess because it shoots them one at a time, right? Rather than having all seven, so you don't have a nice blanket for, like, a last line of defense. 
I guess that's what it's going on about. Man, I suppose. Lift these guys up so they don't attack as often. Eh, nah, too late. I upgraded my division to level 3. I don't know what that means, considering we died. I guess I got some aftermatch experience still. Yeah, yeah I did. A little bit of contract reward still for attempting it. Nice! Failure is also a result, manager. Failures happen, especially in our business. Unpleasant to lose a platform, of course, but don't fret. We have many more. Okay. Even a fall simply accelerates you towards your next contract. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. Nice, yeah, so it's very much like a roguelite type thing. Well, this is very nice, generally. I quite like this a lot. Uh, long matches, though. Really long matches. I don't know. I'm not really too sure. Um, like, I guess more just like smaller contracts where you're only really going just like really not deep at all. Because there's going to be a lot of people who want to play something like this, but they don't have, you know, two, three hours to play it every night. You know, they just got just, you know, put the kids to bed and play for an hour or something, you know? You want to be able to get some progress in that time. It feels bad to have to just like abort a run because of that. So you'd be going for like the smaller little quick, quick jobs. Maybe some of these jobs isn't going into the core per se, and it's literally just getting stuff. I don't know. It's uh, it's overall quite nice, though. There's just those little oddities here and there again, like having having manually told people to go up to the surface to get away from the critters underground because there's not a lot of great ways to handle them. I don't know if there's a way that we could get an ability that, like, you put down a little security turret down there. <laughs> Some things to help. Because those things are so wicked strong. You got to spend, uh... You got to spend a lot of the iron to get the upgrades, I guess. I don't know. It's a tough thing to manage. I'm sure it's easier down the road with some of the upgrades. I'm, I'm positive they've generally thought this through. It's often the case. It's just, uh, it's rough early on, though. And then, like, it's, it's like, oh, it's nighttime because you told everybody to retreat. And it's like, no, I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. You know, uh, that's frustrating. This is nice. This is quite okay. I'll be playing some more of this, at least on my own. I don't know about recording. That's per usual. I mean, I guess it depends what people think about it. We could see about doing, like, some more runs. I don't know how much there is in early access. Update number one, a second platform? Question mark. Uh, co-op? <laughs> I don't know what that would be. A jungle biome, new cores. Show more stats, planet modifiers are expected early next year. Third platform? Third platform? Third, first, second, third platform? What's that all about? More enemies, more blocks, more features, and just generally more stuff. Oh, yeah. Sure. sure. Doesn't really give me an idea of how much is, is currently in. I mean, there's a lot of upgrades that are currently in right now. Like, you got to get your division level quite a lot up there for some of this stuff, but, uh... Yeah, I'd be up for some more of this, though. This is nice. This is very nice. It's difficult. <laughs> but as per usual, it probably gets quite a lot easier as you upgrade and uh, and all that. I went into this being like Deep Rock Galactic, but like actually not really. Like, yeah, there's like a, a corporate overlord type thing, but it's not. It's not as in your face, honestly. <laughs> not, not like you'd think it would be with Deep Rock Galactic. And uh, it's really not not a whole lot like it much at all, I feel like. <laughs> oh, well. This goes to show you, don't judge a book by its... Get off! Don't judge a book by its cover, you know? Very nice. I would probably also put in something of like a... like a custom difficulty type thing, so you can generally customize like how many of those olives that you have spawning underground, and how generally saturated the world is, you know, turn it into something a little bit more chill because this is for casual play. This is pretty stressful, I think, man. But uh, who knows? That could be done probably like way, way later. No rush on that, I, I would think. <laughs>